So, Giles Cooper, Hi. it's nice to see you again. You too. Yeah, because Here I came are. to see you at the other palace, didn't you I? You did, absolutely. And um, we loved the show there. Thank it was you. it was so good. Thank you. Um, and we got to chat to you a little bit afterwards, and we got to chat to Nigel. Um, so, what, what's it like now that you're touring? Because it's you must have got used to going to the to the theatre every day, yeah. and having a kind of routine there. Definitely, and so, now that's gone a lot up in the air. Yeah. The only kind of you know consistent thing now is the show. Everything yeah. else changes around it. So, um, but we've been touring now for a couple of weeks, uh, and thrilled to be here in South End. You've been here before. I haven't have you? many, I many you years that. ago. But we were somebody quite famous, wasn't it? Yeah, I think she's quite famous. Yeah, she's a dame now. She wasn't a dame when I was working with no. her, Joan yeah. Collins. Yeah, Dame Joan. Yeah. Can you remember what it was like performing with her? Terrifying and amazing. Show? It was called Full Circle. And it was 2004 at the Cliffs Pavilion, and um, and yeah, it was. We did, we did sold very well. A lot of people love Joan. I they bet. want to come out and see her. Yeah, yeah, they um, always do. And she was here recently, I think. Was well, she? She back with her one woman show. She yeah. loves doing a one woman show. Yeah. Did she mention you in it? Do you think? I don't know. Maybe. Yeah. Hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, so you've been to Southend anyway. before. Yes. And it's nice to have you back. It's lovely to be back. So how have how have things differed from the West End to, to touring now? Well, I mean, uh, the beauty of it is, is the show's been designed so that it, it wouldn't differ too much. Mm. So a lot of the same things that we um, did in the show in London, we're now doing on tour, which is fantastic. I suppose the main thing is uh, I'm the only person from the London cast mm. that is, is, is doing the tour. Everyone else has sort of changed, basically. Yeah. Um, upgraded, some might say, uh, just sort of reboot, basically, mm. but, uh, but it's still the same fantastic show. So for anybody who doesn't know anything about the show at all, or even who Nigel Slater is, can you give us a little bit of an insight into Absolutely. Into well, Nigel Slater, for those who don't know him, is, a, is uh, one of the country's leading food writers, um, most notably known for his uh, writing with The Guardian Observer for the last 25 years, 30 years or something. I should know that. Um, he also has published numerous books, done fantastic TV series, and in 2003 he published his autobiography, Toast, which was a, an immediate bestseller, and that chronicled his childhood years, which a lot of people knew nothing about. Mm. They know Nigel Slater, the food writer and the TV sort of chef, I guess, uh, although he's always a cook, not a chef. Yeah. Uh, and. Um, so it was a revelation to a lot of people. And then in 2010, it was made into a movie with Helena Bonham Carter. And now we've adapted it for, for stage. Yeah. So it's basically, it's about Nigel's childhood, mm. essentially. And, and I think a lot of people will be surprised at just, um, there's a lot of sadness to his childhood, isn't mm. there? Mm. A lot of sadness that a lot of people yeah, will be surprised about. Didn't mm. wouldn't have imagined. But it's it's just one. It's one of those stories where when you watch it, you kind of you go, I understand now why he mm. is like he is, mm. and some of the knocks he took early on shaped him and made him who made he him is. yeah strong enough to kind of go out into the world and and do what he wanted yeah, to and do. Obviously, cooking, baking was all part Absolutely. of that as well. The beautiful thing about the book that we definitely have carried on with in the stage show is food, it runs absolutely parallel with the story. So all the way along from the word go, there's something to do with food, mm. whether it's jam tarts or angel delight or spaghetti bolognese or mm. whatever it is. And as he, kind of, as, as he go, grows older, it gets a little bit more complicated or new foods come in. and. Um, in the book, it's every single chapter is entitled after a food, a specific food, and the whole play is steeped in nostalgia. Yeah, and it's quite. Uh, there's a lot of reminiscing as well as you watch it, isn't there? Because you think, oh, I remember those sweets. Yeah, yeah. You don't see those sweets anymore, and the joy of it. I'd, oh, please tell me that you still do what you did at the other palace. Give out some food. Mm. We sure do. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. Lovely. We do. Please, can I sit in the front row? <laughs> <laughs> yes, do. Brilliant, do. yeah. Oh, because oh, well, tell, tell us everybody what, what, what happens there. Well, um, one of the one of the more popular foods. We don't. I don't want to spoil too many surprises. No, I but don't one do that. one of the most popular foods that we give out is um, walnut whip. Oh, I'd forgotten about the walnut whip. The walnut whip comes out. Yeah, yeah. and um, 
there's a particular sequence towards the end with where my father, uh, well, Nigel's dad, um, teaches you teaches you everyone in the audience how to, how he thinks you should eat a walnut whip. Yes. Which some might find quite controversial. Mm. But it's lots of fun. Mm. And it's really interesting listening when you're sitting on stage and everyone suddenly opens their, their uh, the, wrap, the wrapper yeah. for the walnut whip and it just, it sounds like the sea. It's oh. mad. It's great. It's I think fun. it's the only time that I will ever allow anybody to make a noise in the theatre. <laughs> when they come to see Toast, you're allowed to rustle your sweet That's wrappers. good, yes. That's the only like time that. ever. Only, only in Toast. Nothing else. Nothing else. No. 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 Right. So I heard a little rumour that your your granddad is somebody famous. I mean, he was a playwright. He was a but He was, a yeah. Famous playwright. Uh, I think to a certain to a generation he would have been known. I think it's 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 lovely now. Every now and then I'll bump into somebody in the industry of a, a certain era, generation, certain number of years who will turn around and say, "Oh, Charles Cooper. Oh, yes, well, I was a famous writer. And I was like, yeah, he's my grandfather. Mm. I'm named after him. He sadly died in 1966, quite mm. a long time ago. Mm. Uh, my dad was very young at the time. Um, but, uh, but yes, no, he's, uh, he, did, he was responsible for a lot of radio plays. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, on the BBC. That's and pretty cool. Yeah. So it's obviously in your blood to be a performer then, I too. think so. Well, he yeah. and my grandmother, my grandmother went to Central School of Speech and Drama, which is where I ended up going, oh. and my grandfather went to Webber Douglas. So, yeah, acting has definitely been, yeah. is in the blood of it. And there's another coincidence as well with Nigel, isn't there? It with is. Your family, yeah, I seem I've to done your research. Yes, yeah. yes. Tell us about that. That was, it was just a, a strange coincidence because I knew nothing about this when I was auditioning for Toast and it was only when I got the role that I started telling my family. And I have some family who live in North London and have done all my life. And um, they, uh, they have a big, nice big house. But when they bought it originally, um, it was split in two. And so they still rented out the top half of the house. And when they arrived there, there was already a lodger. And, um, and that lodger was Nigel Slater. And it turns out that many years later, I turned up to the house, fresh-faced, going to drama school, this is about 20 years ago, and um, uh, they put me in the spare room, which was, once upon a time, Nigel Slater's kitchen. Isn't that amazing? Bizarre. Yeah. And now, we were talking earlier, you kind of, you've really adopted a lot of his mannerisms Nigel's mannerisms. His yeah, and even, I mean, obviously you can um, mimic his voice, mimic's probably not the right word, but... Um, yeah, I can remember when we came to see you at the other palace and we chatted to you afterwards and you were sitting on the edge of the stage and you were both in the same position. There was legs crossed, arms like this, and I thought, look at them, they don't even realise that they're doing it. It's so sweet. <laughs> no, it's like E.T. And, and, and Elliot, they were just basically becoming kind of almost morphed. one, basically. We've morphed. Yeah. No, it's, um, he's, he's, uh, the way he speaks and his passionate passion for food and language and it's, it's very infectious mm. and you can't help but it just you start looking at things just slightly differently especially um, when you're playing him I guess and also my flatmates and my friends uh, they can't bear it now because I just uh, I when I say they go oh you want to place a toast and I go oh yeah. toast <laughs> Nothing like that. and I start then quoting the play and they go no 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 stop that stop that <laughs> It was a novelty at it first. It was a novelty at first, but that, it wore off after the first two weeks. It's <laughs> yeah. five months now. But you do like cooking, don't you? I love cooking. Yeah. Absolutely love it. And, and you get to, have to, well, you do a bit of cooking do. on stage, I do. don't I you? I do a little bit of cooking on stage. Yeah. It's a nice little kind of like surprise for many people because I think they've sort of got through most of the play and they think, mm. oh, what's going to happen now? And then mm. suddenly something very familiar happens. But it's wonderful. It's wonderful. And I won't spoil it. But um, I'm so looking forward to seeing it tonight. And um, thank you so much for chatting My pleasure. with us. It's My been pleasure. so nice to see you again. You too. Enjoy the show. I will. I know I will. Because I've seen it before. <laughs> <laughs>